Our ability to keep these beautiful aircraft flying today is down to the incredible work and unique skill set within our small engineering team. We work all year round to maintain the aircraft and safe and clear way to go. AV910 is a Mark 5B with an incredible 143 operational missions to her name, including sorties over D-Day. She currently wears the D-Day markings of 64 squadron aircraft, BM327, flown by Flight Lieutenant Tony Cooper, one of the flight commanders of 64 squadron in 1944. Also famous and flew the first at Port Price with my passenger, Margaret Morton. She was weighing the tail down whilst the aircraft was taxiing to take off. The pilot unknowingly got airborne, but amazingly, Margaret managed to hang on and the pilot safely landed the aircraft. Neither Margaret, the pilot, or the aircraft. Z865, a very special aircraft, was the last hurricane to be built, rolling off the Hurricane production line at Maine in July 1944. Starboard sides, she proudly wears the inscription at last of the medic. Keen to preserve the last hurricane built, Hawkers purchased the aircraft back from the ministry and kept it in storage at Langley. In 1950, PZ865 was entered in the King's Cup air raid by the Royal Highness Princess Margaret and flown by crew, crew captain Peter Townsend.
the uh, Navy Week to walk behind you. That's the HS Mark 1, as I said, it's the anti submarine torpedo carry. We're going to craft that power by Rolls Royce. Nimbus is further in shaft engine.
right in front of uh, the wall, front end from the right. Very steady time as well, unlike uh, the other carriers that spread out. You see that it's uh, four. So the magic here is making it very stable in rough seas, running on back of the frigate. So, uh, hold off on that. The aircraft is also very popular with the special air services. Um, you might remember the Iranian rocket team in London. These aircraft that enjoy the SAS, the top group. Um, so they're diminutive size, but they're not very loud compared to the other bigger Western size. Carry special uh, forces, they had skin uh, outside of the uh, aircraft, so they could propel straight down and they just basically stepped on the side of the skin until they got to where they wanted to destroy.